What's good investors, welcome back to a brand new stock market investing video. In today's video, we're having a look at NEO, ticker simple NIO, as there has been a lot of huge news on the company exactly just a couple hours ago. So let's just get right into this video without wasting any time. And before we get into all those exciting news, we're going to have a look at institutional ownership. We're going to have a look at some updated news, what Elon Musk has to say about NEO and two chart analyzers. Be sure to smash that red subscribe button if you're new here. Join the family, join the army. We are so close to that 1000 marks if you're new here just consider smashing that subscribe button as you know we upload two at least two stock market investing videos every single day if not one every single day to keep you guys updated with the stock market so if you're new here consider smashing that subscribe button let's get started with today's video now you probably already know what new is you've been following my channel for a very very long time thank you for following my channel for a very long time it says new and then it says company so from that you probably not know anything they're just a company but what company from there you may be able to tell that they're a car company but if you go on the actual website again they're an electric car company you can tell right over here they have some big events coming up you can see on the 6th of 11 2020 1330 at uh, 1330 GMT plus a so that's the time for here so that's I think some big big events we have to be ready for because they're doing the 100 kilowatt an hour battery which is big they have battery as a service if you didn't know about the company which battery as a service basically where con consumers get 10,000 American dollars or USD of their vehicle when they buy it and they basically pay this fee where they keep every month they get uh, free battery swaps not every month but they like unlimited battery swaps basically for just 150 dollars it's around 150 140 dollars a month and then this was new power innovation another live stream they did they have three vehicles currently the ec6 which they started delivering in the month of september they in the month of september they did 16 deliveries of the ec6 and they have um, right over here the ES8 which they did around I think over a couple thousand deliveries and they also have the ES6 which is their another one of their vehicles basically that's not too much important to have a look at let's just jump right into the first thing which is news it's institutional ownership which we usually on this channel always look at because I think it's very very important we see one right over here now this is not a new one because you can see their average price is 14.54 they own around $193,000 into new stock and their average price is 14.54 now this green one is a new company investing to this uh, investing in new and they just bought two million and eighteen thousand dollars two million and eighteen thousand dollars you heard me right that's two million and eighteen thousand dollars and that's the valuation and ninety five thousand one hundred fourteen and that was today as well this another one their average price is 14.47 they have very good average prices from my opinion they hold one million three uh, one point three million basically or one million three hundred fourteen thousand dollars into the company again the exact same date we have right over here another two hundred thousand one Another company doing uh, or investor doing a put onto NEO, which it doesn't share too much information on here. And those are all just for today. We have this one for today actually as well. This is a six as well, 4,000. And then we have this big one, 7.2 million. So they have invested in the company before and their average price is 14.47. And then we have right over here, 200,000, 12,000. 200,000 again 7.5 million uh, over trillions of dollars which I can't even count then 1 million so these are all just today until it changed to the fifth right over here so we can see big big money 74 million dollars so that's big big money that's 74 million dollars so that's just some updates on the institutional ownership now let's jump right into this chart analyze that i want to share with you guys that i think it's very very important to keep in mind with this chart analyze because it does really really shares this crazy thing in the actual chart analyze that actually caught my attention because when people does chart analyzes they don't actually share something like this that this person who did this chart analyze actually shared so we're gonna wait for this to open a dot it did just open so this is by pedigree paul and maybe that's his or her real name on november the 6th which is today's market november the 6th even though in australia it is november the 7th and we write the date in a different way in here so just opening but this chart analyze i think is very very huge just from my opinion 
here it just opened the chart analyze and we can see that it talks about four different bases and he thinks that there's going to be an another base right over here that the exact same thing is going to happen so if you see the first base and now i'm going to do a more dive deep analyze in the next chart that i'm going to show it, or it is going to show a better chart analyze than this one but this is the first base it's around july or august i can say the second one is again around september or even august not too sure just around that dates then the next one is around october the next base four is around the 19th or around october again then the next one might be around the fifth one might be around november who knows so this was just a rough one now we are going to have a look at a great one next which is right over here which kind of explains it a bit more than this one so right over here you can see this is basically base one base two base three base four and base four, uh, five might happen again there so you can see the dates so it starts around 10th of july it goes until let's see 17th of august then again it starts around 25th of august and it ends at 22nd of september the next one starts the third base starts at 29th of september and it ends at 14th of october now i'm sharing this because i from my opinion, as I always said, I don't believe that chart analyze is going to make too much changes in the stock price and what really is what's happening around the company is what's going to make the price go up or down. But this is, I think, something great to have a look at because we might again see a base here and then the stock might go up, see a base here, the stock might even reach those 60 marks, which is a possibility in the next coming months, from my opinion. Now, let me know your opinions on those stuff in the comments down below as well. So this two short analyze were kind of the same, but they did catch my attention. I was like, let me share it with you guys. The next one we have here, Elon Musk talking about Neo and Tesla. So Elon Musk suggests Tesla is 10 times better than Neo. Holy, should we just sell Neo right now, guys? Should we take the profit and sell Neo because Elon Musk says that Tesla is 10 times better than Neo? Let me know what your thoughts on this is because. Who knows, maybe Neo is going to drop after this, but if we read through this, it says, as its stock price has soared, Neo's market capitalization has surpassed that of BMW and General Motors. So you can see Neo has a bigger market capitalization than BMW and General Motors. That's gotten the Chinese EV maker more attention, including from Tesla CEO Elon Musk. 420 is 10 times better than 42, Musk wrote in a tweet early morning on Friday without mentioning any company. So, he didn't mention any company, he didn't say Tesla is better than Neo, he didn't say Neo is trasher or worse than Tesla, but he did say 420 is 10 times better than 42. So, what did he mean by this? However, it is worth nothing that as of Thursday close Tesla share price were trading at 438.09 compared to news 42.35 Twitter users also took the uh, comments as direct at Neo so some of the comments were on Neo so there they say they put the pictures of CEO William Lee Bean so we're not gonna really read through this whole thing but just Elon Musk is saying some stuff because a lot of people, a lot of investors are focusing on Neo than they are on Tesla. Now, I'm not saying that there are not investors focusing on Tesla. There are, from my opinion, Tesla is a very, very big company. But just like looking at Neo, the huge growth potential they have, that's what all I'm going to say. So you can see a comparison of Tesla and Neo right over there. We see Neo grown crazy compared to Tesla. It hasn't grown that much. So next one next is this is what's happening at Tesla, Neo and Xping stores in Shanghai. Recently Shanghai has tied it, has tightened restrictions on vehicle with license plates from other province and cities, making a large number of users start to consider buying new energy vehicle with local license plates, especially those from Tesla, Neo and Xping. In recent filed visit, Shanghai Securities News showed what it's like at Tesla New Xping store and the change views of news car owner on new energy vehicles. The Shanghai Securities News report first came to Tesla store in Taikohoi 
uh, where the small L-shaped showroom was filled with customers standing and sitting in for inquiries and orders as well as for prototypes cars on display so we're not gonna really read through this whole thing but it just talks about how it's like in there and some new stuff that has been happening that i think we should keep a close eye on because them saying that they're not allowed those types of plates and everything like that might make new tesla xpeng or maybe a lot of EVs have more in sales, basically. So that was basically it for this video. Just wanted to keep you guys updated into all of the company, what's happening on the market, what's the price target, which I think it's by the end of the year, they are gonna hit over 50 to 60 bucks. It's a possibility. And that's just my price target. Now I want you guys to tell me in the comments down below what your price target on the company is, where you see the stock playing in the coming future and everything like that. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did get some value. If you did smash the like button again, consider smashing that red subscribe button. And until next time.